All right, so in this video, we'll be making use of the Robo Browser library in Python 3. Uh, so if you're familiar with Mechanize in Python 2, which is a web automation tool, it allows you to write Python scripts to automatically navigate to log into uh, various websites. Uh, Robo Browser is kind of the Python 3 answer to that. So we'll be taking a look at a very straightforward um, example of using Robo Browser to navigate to a website, log into it using certain credentials, and extract information. And hopefully the goal of this website is for you to, um, while you might, might not care about this particular website, you might have a, a certain login form that you're trying to code a similar uh, script for yourself. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to illustrate the approach that I use in this, in this video. And that way you can manipulate the approach for your own purposes. So let me show you exactly what we want to what we want to do. So the website that I've chosen to uh, log into and extract data from is this website called DataCoop. Uh, so I'm in no way affiliated with this website or company at all. Uh, it's just a website that has a pretty straightforward login page, and um, it seemed like a you know a real example that someone might be interested in. So the business model of DataCoop, as I understand it, is uh, individuals create accounts, associate their social networks, and um, essentially that association um, allows people to buy the data that is associated with the networks that are connected. So anytime someone buys your data um, through an association in this uh, in this website, you get a cut of you know a cut of the money of someone buying your data. So these these guys are kind of uh, in the business of selling data. So I don't know what you feel about the ethics of that. Um, I'll leave that to you. Uh, people do sign up for this voluntarily, so I assume you know the ethics are okay. Uh, but if you if you want to follow along with it, me in this video, you'll have to also create an account. And I understand if you um, you know if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Uh, again, the, the principles in this video should be applicable to other websites that have login forms. Okay, so let's go. Uh, if we click in the login link over here. That'll take us to a page that looks like this. We'll, we'll, we're going to be presented with a login form. Uh, it has some fields and a button. So basically the whole purpose of our script is to navigate to this website and to manipulate this form to fill in uh, specific fields in this form. Hit the sign in button. And if we do that, we'll be presented with this page once we're logged in. And what I want to do once we're logged in is extract this piece of information here to tell us uh, you know, to tell the user how much they've they've earned uh, so far in their account. So it's a pretty straightforward script. It's just going to log in and then extract some information, and we're going to do that using uh, Python's Robo Browser. So let me navigate back to the script, and I'm just going to import re first because I want to. Uh, we are eventually going to be using some stuff with regular expressions, and then of course we need to implement or import Robo Browser, Robo Browser, and now what we want to do is we want to create a browser object from Robo Browser. So this thing will be kind of the you know the driver for uh, navigating and filling in forms and these sorts of things. So this is kind of the um, what will manipulate to uh, you know kind of navigate through the website. So let me show you what I mean. So if I say br.open, this function open uh, it takes an argument, which is a URL, and opens it. And from you know that after that point, we'll be able to manipulate the HTML uh, from that is returned from that browser object. So the URL that we want to open in this case is this sign-in form here. So if I copy that link, go back here, paste it in. Uh, at this point, the browser has opened this URL. And what we want to do now is we want to um, manipulate the form on the website. So what we want to do is we want to um, essentially isolate this form here and isolate these fields, fill in our username, password, credentials, and then sign in. Uh, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take a look at what the source looks like. And the best way that we can do that in either Mozilla or Chrome is if you right click over a field like email here, say inspect element, this will show us in the bottom here, uh, you know, essentially what that corresponds to in the HTML. So I've done that over the HTML 
uh, over the email field rather, and this tells me here that this corresponds to an input ID or field ID uh, where the ID is specified as email. Uh, likewise, if I do the same thing with, with password here, this will take me to the relevant place in the code uh, where the ID for this specified field is uh, also called password. And so both of these field elements are within a form, as you can see from uh, this thing right here. So this form thing is um, sort of encapsulating everything. As you can see on the screen there, it's kind of highlighting everything in blue. So the form consists of these email, password, and sign-in fields. So what we're going to do, what we want to do is we want to tell Python, uh, take this form, fill in information in these fields, and then hit the sign-in button. So let's go back to our script, and we're going to say just that. So I'm going to say form is equal to br.getform, and there's only one form on the page, so Python is going to know, or rather Robo Browser is going to know, that when I say get form, that corresponds to the only form uh, on the web page. If there are multiple forms on the page, in your particular case, there's ways to uh, isolate and just get one specific form. It might be the first, second, or third, or, or nth form on the page, but uh, since there's only one form for us, we can get by with just using this uh, get form line here. And so now once we have the form, we want to tell Python uh, that we want to send certain things to the fields in that form. And remember the fields, the IDs of the fields uh, that we care about are email and password. So we want to send it some, some things. So basically what we want to send it are the uh, username and password uh, for the account that we care about. So if you've created an account, you will have an, uh, an email address associated with the account as well as a password. And at this point, you can just put those in there. Uh, since I don't want to show what my, the, I guess the username is, or the password is, and in your particular implementation of this, if you're writing this for a client, you might want to um, abstract that information as well. What you can do is you can store the information in a config file, uh, and basically that's what I've that's what I've done. So I've created a uh, a Python file called config, which I'll import up here. And I'm just essentially telling Python I want the variable in the config file that corresponds to datacoop username, and in this case also config datacoop password. So config is going to look something like this, where we have a variable called datacoop username and datacoop password. So you're going to put in your credentials right here. So the email is going to go here, the password is going to go here, and you'll save this particular file as config.py. And what you should do is you should store uh, config.py in the same directory as the uh, the Robo Browser script. So in this case, a Robo Browser example is in the same file as a config file I've already coded up. Again, all you really need are to fill in these with your own credentials. Okay, so that is that. So now we've told Python to get the form on the page, fill in the um, fields of that form with the appropriate information, and then what we want to do is we want to submit the form. So Robo Browser is smart enough to know that the uh, submit button that's on the website, this one here, is within the form and is also connected to the form. So it's smart enough to know just from the line that I wrote here uh, that I'm, tell I'm telling the browser to submit the form and I'm passing the specific form that I want to submit, which again is the only form on the page. So if we do that, we'll be presented with uh, you know, we won't be able to see any output, but we, we, we should be able to log into the website. So we, at this point, will be logged in and we will have access to this website here. So what we want to do now is we want to um, extract this content here to tell us how much we've earned. So again, we can use a similar um, approach to what we did to consider the email and password fields, is we can right click on this and say inspect. And this will tell us where this uh, where this text is showing up. So we can see this text is showing up between two. It's kind of sandwiched between these two li tags. Uh, so there's this li class header balance 
and then earned, and then the number that we care about, and then a closing li tag. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to extract the stuff that's in between these two things. So just I want to point out that um, we're going to be using a regular expression to sort of extract what's sandwiched in between here. If the web developer decided one day to change uh, something in the code that you know, for instance, this this line uh, differed in some way, or even if they decided to change the IDs of the email and password to like username and password instead of email, then our code that we have so far would would not work. So, um, you know, these these things are a little bit fickle because they are they're at the mercy at of the um, the person who is developing the website. And if you're developing something like this, you don't always have direct access to somebody who is in charge of the website. So just be, you know, be wary of that if you're coding this up for your own purposes. Uh, if you're trying to write up a similar script to, to uh, interface with a login form. Uh, okay, so anyway, what we're, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go back to this page here. Uh, we're going to take this entire, all of the source that is, um, associated with this particular page. We're going to convert that to a string and then we're going to parse that string until we find this line here. And we're going to use a regular expression to extract uh, the number that we care about. So we're going to do that now. So I'm going to create a variable called src source and it's going to return or I'm going to call this br.parsed function. So this returns a, a very nicely parsed HTML output of the page that we are currently on. This converts that output to a string and we store that string in this um, variable source. And so now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to uh, extract the number that's between those li tags. So I'm just going to copy and paste variables start and end here. So start and end are variables that I've defined previously that correspond to the uh, thing that precedes the number and the thing that uh, follows it. So if we go back to the website here, again the start variable corresponds to everything past the everything up to the colon and then the end variable corresponds to the ending li tag. And what I want to do now is I want to um, I want to do a regular expression that will allow me to extract the middle of that. And I've just uh, copy and pasted this regular expression here. It's a little bit messy to write out, but it's not very complicated as to what's going on. Basically, I'm just using a regular expression to uh, take what's sandwiched between start and end within the string source, which contains all of the source that was returned on that page. And I want to uh, get the content that's in between there. So that's going to store that content in this variable result and hopefully if I put result that will give me the number that I'm after. So I'm going to uh, just go over here say Python robo browser example. Uh, let's see so there's a problem here Oh, probably because I need to use Python 3. This is a Python 3 module after all. So let me try that again. So there's a there's a warning which is to be expected because this robo browser uses uh, beautiful soup and there's just this thing that if you you know in in robo browser I think that they don't use this uh, L, LXML thing uh, there's a way to suppress this warning but I haven't done so but we don't really care about that for now for the purposes of this video we've extracted successfully the number that we we cared about so this very concise short little code logged into our form submitted it. Um, extracted uh, a particular piece of information that was on a page behind a login form and then just printed that result out to the user. So hopefully this uh, example was useful to you. Again, I in no way am associated with Datacoop. Um, this was just a website that happened to have a pretty straightforward login page. I guess I could have picked a lot of different websites, um, but for whatever reason I just decided to go with this. Uh, hopefully you can use um, kind of what, what the approach we showed here and adapt it to your own purposes for whatever scripts you might be writing. Um, if there's any suggestions you have in terms of um, scraping or logging in or robo browser type of tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.